Hello and welcome to all you Cancerians. Here's your monthly horoscope for Cancer for uh, June 2019. What a month this is for you Cancerians. What a very important uh, month this June. And next month there will be the eclipses. So June and July are very important for the Cancerians. Now, I've been warning you for this energy in the last couple of months. Uh, it's a continuation of that energy and a bit of a peak there. Now you're gonna have Mars, Mercury, North Node, all in your sign of Cancer, and it's opposing Pluto, Saturn, and the South Node. What does all this Latin mean for you? It's very simple for the Cancerians. This is the month if you have been giving your power away to a significant other person, this is the month to take it back. So, um, or either, but I think it's going to be for most Cancerians like this, especially when you have a Cancer rising. But let's say you have a Cancer Sun but a Capricorn rising, it could be um, th this thing going on for you that maybe you are trying to control and manipulate too much, someone else that is, and then it's now the time to let go of that. So let's have a look at what, what I really mean here. Um, having Mars in your first house of Cancer is, that happens every once, every two years, but now opposing Pluto, this is about taking back your power, this is about owning what's yours, and of course, all of us, because in relationships, uh, there is a give and a take. And sometimes, or mostly, hopefully, when we have a good, healthy relationship, it's a bit taking and it's a bit giving, and that there is a balance. But this shows that for a lot of you Cancerians, mostly for those who have a Cancer rising, that there is imbalance, that maybe you have suppressed your Mars. I mean, really, uh, I'm gonna suppress it, I'm gonna suppress it, because whatever the reason is. And now is the time to take that back, or if you don't want to do anything, to let it explode. Then it will probably explode, because Mars opposite Pluto, it's like you can't put it under the carpet anymore. I mean, the pressure is too much, and then it explodes. So whatever happens for you, um, it's always best to do it in little steps, but sometimes it's not realistic and it has to explode. Now, whatever it is, if someone is really wor um, working on your nerve, is really taking, taking, taking from you, this will not continue this month. Uh, you will have to face that and with its consequences. Um, but of course, after that, there is a transformation. So it's not the easiest month, but on the other hand, there is a transformation going on for most of you Cancerians. Now, if it is the other way around, if you are saying, yes, I'm trying to control, if you are wanting to admit that some of you might wanna control someone too much in their relationship or in a, with a significant other person, then something will happen that this other person says enough and then you have to take those consequences so and ask yourself why you want to control so much why is there so much fear or is there so much shame why are you doing it and trying to to change that about yourself but as i said most uh, scenarios will be that you are taking your power back this could also mean a business partner it could also mean a significant client that is really putting you under the thumb um, now is the time that it will be resolved and um, that is of course a good thing you know Mars opposite Pluto I mean those astrological things these are not good or bad it's how we deal with them and how we try to uh, cope with them because these energies are what they are it's about how you can express them at, at their best now meanwhile at the same time this aspect that is a lot about transformation and it is a lot about working on you. It's a good time for the Cancerians anyways to redraw the lines with people, to say no where you need to say no. And of course people will react. Of course, what do you expect? That people will say, oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, that was a fear probably that you didn't do it in the first place. So you, you have a build up. Um, but it, it is a month of courage. 
So you have lots more courage than usual now, not that you haven't got it before that, but Mars in your first house gives you a lot of stamina, gives you a lot of drive. And when you get too frustrated, do something with your uh, body, you know, physically work out because you will have a lot of energy going on in your body. So express it in the right way. Now, another thing that is a bit more light uh, that is going on for you with Sun and Venus in the 12th house. So it is actually, um, uh, how would I say, notwithstanding the fact there's a lot of tension there. There's also possibility to uh, withdraw yourself a little bit to reload your ba batteries because sometimes that's not easy, is it? When we are full of stress and then how to de-stress is not easy. But it seems to me that when I look at your chart, this month is okay for you because of the Sun and Venus in your 12th house. So enjoy alone time, basically. Um, the 12th house is where we withdraw. It's the connection with the unconscious. Um, do some things on your own that you love to do, go for a walk at the seaside or whatever, but do it alone and enjoy yourself. And um, this can really, really help you to release the tension. This um, Sun, Venus, uh, can and, and uh, squaring up and, and opposite Neptune and, and Jupiter can mean that you really have an urge to escape. Um, that there is nothing wrong with that if it's healthy escape, you know, watching a movie, losing yourself in a book, uh, whatever. So make sure that when you relax that you can escape every now and then from reality and do it in maybe an artistic way or a creative way or just imagining uh, you in, in being a part of something totally different and that you can distance yourself a little bit from the harsh realities. So all in all, very important month, but I think uh, after this month that a part of you will have been transformed. And for those of you who've been waiting for this, for this courage, um, get that courage and do what you need to do. Uh, don't fall into power struggles. I mean, you can't change someone else. You only have to change you, which is already enough. And, um, and I wish you a lot of success here. All the best to you. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to have a reading, get in touch and see you next month. Bye-bye.